From hunting for food to collecting water, stay tuned to number one to find out animals you had no idea used tools. Number 10. Dolphins In 2012, an Indian minister said that dolphins should be treated as non-human people. And scientists have long understood how intelligent these creatures really are. So perhaps it's not surprising that they've recently been observed using tools. Say, what? Well, in Shark Bay, Australia, a scientist was lucky enough to observe how a group of bottlenose dolphins have learned to carry marine sponges in their beaks to stir ocean-bottom sand to uncover prey. This cool technique has made this group more successful at hunting food on the bottom of the ocean. Not only that, but it also protects their noses. Although this is just one group of dolphins, their ability to do this is yet another testament to their intelligence. Though it should be pointed out that it seems to be a relatively new invention. But what's to say there's not another group of dolphins using other sea-based tools for hunting reasons? In fact, as highlighted in a previous video, some scientists have stated that this group spends more time hunting with tools than any other non-human animal. But as we'll see in a moment, there's another contender who others think are slightly ahead of dolphins in using tools. Number 9. Chimpanzees These intelligent creatures made headlines last year when footage emerged showing that the clever primates habitually make special water-dipping sticks, chewing the end of the stick to turn it into a soft, water-absorbing brush. These sticks were examined by primate researchers and they concluded that they were made specifically for drinking. Apparently using similar brush-tipped sticks to dip into bees nests for honey was common in chimpanzee populations across Africa. This particular population of chimpanzees has what the researchers call a drinking culture, which they class as a custom shared throughout a group making these special water-dipping sticks to help them throughout the dry season. But this isn't the only group of chimpanzees to be observed using tools. Decades earlier, in 1960, a chip was observed using a twig to reach one of the chip's favorite foods, termites. He did this by picking up a twig and stripping the leaves off of it. Then he stuck the twig into one of the holes of the termite mound, left it there for a moment, and slowly pulled it out. So he was effectively fishing for termites it's quite clear these intelligent animals have found ways to use tools to overcome difficult situations. Yet, like other species on this list who are at serious risk of extinction due to human action, their tool use won't save them from habitat loss or bulldozers. Number 8. Crows Before we see what crows have to offer, we'd truly appreciate it if you took a moment to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Also, it's important that you click that little notification bell too, so you'll always know when there's new content from Zero to Hero. Crows have long symbolized death because they are carrion birds, or birds that feed on dead animals. However, our view and understanding of the crow might just change as the result of a recent observation of a group of captive crows. Evo Jacobs of Lund University in Sweden and his team were fortunate to observe some interesting behavior in the crows. They saw how one crow slipped a wooden stick into a metal nut and flew off with both objects. Later, they observed another crow insert a thick stick into a hole in a large wooden ball to move the items around the room. As well as these examples, they have also observed four other instances of the crow's clever little tricks. In fact, the ability to use objects to transport both items at once is something that had never been seen in non-human animals. Yet this ingenious feat is not that surprising, as we already knew that crows could use tools. But this particular trick is often seen as a hallmark of complex cognitive abilities suggesting that they might be a little bit more intelligent than we first thought. At the end of the day, this is definitely interesting, but a lot more research needs to be completed to see whether the birds also use tools this way in the wild. Number 7. Wrasse So far, we've seen that dolphins can use tools, and that's not too surprising given how intelligent we know they are. But the next example highlights that they aren't the only marine animal to use tools. In fact, this example is the first time tool use has been observed in fish species. This orange-dotted tuskfish likes to eat clams. But how does a fish defeat a clam? Well, it uses a neat trick to expose one buried in the sand. 
the fish grabs the clam in its mouth and using all of its power, smashes it against coral. The blows are so precise that after a short time, the shell breaks apart. The fish then eats it all up, swallowing the soft flesh and spitting out shattered shell fragments. It just goes to show, fish might be just a little more intelligent than we give them credit for. Well, this fish at least. Number 6. Orangutans In the wild, orangutans use branches, sticks, and leaves the way humans use utensils, screwdrivers, and power drills. Sticks are the main, all-purpose tool wielded by these primates to pry tasty insects out of trees or for use with certain fruits. Others have been known to use leaves as sort of a glove, like when they're picking prickly plants or big leaves as umbrellas in heavy rain. Some have even suggested that some orangutans have been observed using sticks to measure the depth of water, but there's a lot of debate around whether this is the right interpretation for this act. Nevertheless, they are clearly intelligent, but for all their intelligence and their ability to use tools, these beautiful creatures can't possibly defend themselves against humans. And with recent scientific warnings suggesting that they are at risk of imminent extinction by the end of this century, we can only hope that enough is achieved that they might survive in the future. Number 5. Elephants it is no secret that elephants are some of the most intelligent animals on the planet. It's not surprising when you consider the size of their brain and the fact that they pass on information from one generation to the next. So it's not that surprising that they've been observed using tools for a variety of reasons. You have some who've been observed dropping logs on electric fences to short circuit them, or others like the Asian elephants have been observed making fly swatting branches, even modifying the branches so that they are the perfect length. Elephants have a lot going for them, but their intelligence has helped them overcome some difficult situations. Number four, gorillas. Tools used by gorillas is something scientists has been aware about for some time. Most observations generally relate to obtaining food, either by cracking nuts with rocks or using twigs to eat termites, like we've seen with some other animals on this list. However, recently, tool-savvy wild gorillas were caught on camera. One gorilla was observed using a tool to test the depth of water before wading in it, which could suggest a similar action might have been the right interpretation for our earlier entry with orangutans. In the same video, another gorilla was caught using a stick to help search for food, and even possibly as a bridge over a muddy puddle. Although this is not completely surprising, as tool use in primates is well documented, it is great to catch wild gorillas doing this. Number 3. Octopus We've already introduced two marine animals that have been known to use tools, and the next example is yet another one to add to the list. The octopus are notorious for their ability to hide behind rocks or slip through the smallest of gaps. Seriously! But groups of octopi, like the coconut octopus, have also been found to use tools. The coconut octopus, Amphioctopus marginatus, is the first identified species to gather materials for its shelter with apparent foresight. While we see this in birds, it is much less known in marine life, especially with octopi. This 2-inch long Indonesian cephalopod has been observed retrieving discarded coconut half-shells, swimming with them up to 50 feet away, and then carefully arranging the shells on the seafloor for later use. In one video, an octopus was caught quickly jumping into its coconut shell. Using the discarded shells in this way allows the soft-bodied creature to hide from predatory cuttlefish and divers who get a bit too close. The coconuts can even be used as a getaway vehicle. The octopuses can roll away from danger safe inside the shell. Number 2. Macaques The next entry on this list has been so successful at using their particular tool and method that they have come close to pushing their prey towards extinction. So it appears humans aren't the only primate able to do this, though we obviously do it on a much bigger scale. Long-tailed macaque forage for shellfish on islands off Thailand, then crack them open with some stone tools. They target the largest rock oysters, bludgeoning them with stone hammers, and pry open the shells with the flattened edges of their tools. It's great to see more primates using tools for finding food, but by over-harvesting their prey, they are putting their own technology knowledge at risk. How will they pass on the skills to harvest the food when there's no more food to harvest? Number 1. Sea otters. We mentioned earlier in the video about an animal that makes dolphin tool use look like child's play. Well, it's these cute little creatures. 
Recent research has indicated that otters learn how to use tools long before other marine animals. A genetic study of more than 100 wild sea otters living off the Californian coast suggests their ancestors living millions of years ago showed this same behavior. So what do they do? Well, sea otters are often seen floating on their backs using rocks to break open shellfish for food. In comparison to the dolphin example we discussed earlier, this is not a recent phenomenon. And researchers even plan to study fossil remains to get a better understanding of exactly when they started doing this. If sea otters' ancestors held rocks on their chests, then that may explain the depressions found on the chests of some modern otters. What's even more interesting is that otter pups express rudimentary tool behavior in captivity without any demonstration or training, which could be further evidence for it starting a long, long time ago. Tell us what you think about these brilliant creatures in the comments below and take care.